Currently, we're in the city center of Sofia, and right now we're at Tsum. Basically, Tsum is the first largest building, which was a shopping mall, a bank, and a lot of other different things combined. And it was built right next to the parliament. As you can see, it was built during Soviet time, but the architecture is amazing. And it's right next to the parliament, city center, and the main road. As I mentioned, Tsum means Central Department Store. It has a lot of stores in it, it has a lot of history, and it was built during the Soviet time. From this part, here, this big white building, is the Bulgarian version of the White House. And it's right next to the Bulgarian Parliament. In the center of this, it's a glass ceiling which hides underneath old ancient ruins. You can see from the whole city there are a lot of Roman and ancient ruins. And in front of the White House of Bulgaria and next to the parliament, again, you can see a lot of history, very beautiful place, very well done. And you can see it during the summer, you can see it during the winter. And the amazing part again is you're in basically, we're in the city center and heart of Sofia, and you can see as well old Roman ruins and history. At the moment, we're in the heart of Sofia, right next to the Sofia White House and next to the Parliament. At the moment, you can see this is the official monument of Sofia. Her name is Sveta Sofia. It was built after 2001 and the head and part of the body is made out of pure gold. What's interesting about it is it's, that it's 26 feet long and it's the symbol of Sofia. It's here for protection, it's here to guide you. You can see the symbols, you can see the eyes, you can see the soul of, as a bird. At the bottom, this is Saint Petka the Old. Actually, this the interesting part about it it's it's one of the first ever christian churches after the bulgarians accepted christian christianity and it's like still here and it's so ancient and it's still operating if you're a christian and you want to see it there would not be a problem to go in it's a very small church but it represents the old and that it's still here and it, it represents the bulgarian and christian's beliefs uh, we showed you what it's like to see the ancient ruins from the top and currently we're underneath the presidency and right now this was part of the ancient Roman wall and ancient Roman baths. When you go in the center you will be able to see the presidency and basically from our other video we showed you what it's like to see it from the top and now we're going to show you what it's like to see it from the bottom. It is also beautiful. There's also an exhibition of art and ancient ruins which you can check right behind me. At the moment, we're finally in front of the Bulgarian Presidency, or as we call it, the Bulgarian White House. In front, we have two guards, which are very similar to the English guards that guard the Queen. There's a fun fact here as well, that you can try all you want to make the guards laugh, but they won't do it. They always need to keep a straight face. No emotion, but they're cool. Behind us is the archaeological museum, which has a lot of Greek and Trishan and ancient Bulgarian history.
They have daily exhibitions in which you can participate or book a ticket online. At the moment, we're in the center of Sofia, and this is the Central National Bulgarian Bank. This was the first bank ever in Bulgaria. It was founded in 1879. It, it, it was built like this, and the Bulgarians kept it. It was so ancient and cool. And still has the metal doors, so very cool. As I mentioned, we're currently in the Central National Bulgarian Bank. This was the first bank that was established in Sofia, Bulgaria, and it's still working ever since. What is good and interesting about this bank, and it's filled with history, because all the ornaments of the building are handmade. This is also working and it's also handmade. Everything was meant hand handmade. And it's also an archaeological object, the whole bank, because it's ancient and it has a lot of history and it's still operating, but with the normal and authentic style.